Greetings and welcome to my astronomy and physical science classes. In this video we are going to discuss the article review assignment that you will be doing and you will be doing three of these over the course of the semester. And I give you the instructions at the beginning. Some people like to get a head start and be able to work ahead on these to be able to save some time when it comes later in the semester. So what you're going to do for this is to select an article from a popular science magazine. Now I give you some examples um, uh, for astronomy classes. Things like astronomy and sky and telescope are great. Um, for physical science classes, there's popular science, scientific American, science news. Uh, what I'm looking for is it has to be a science magazine. So don't go to Time or Newsweek or the newspaper. Those are not acceptable for this project. I'm looking for a science magazine. It does not have to be a peer reviewed or refereed article. Most of those in the astronomy and physical science field will be well above the level of this class. I've had students do them and you're more than welcome to, but they're a little above what I'm looking for for this class. The big thing is I am looking for an article. So it should be generally these are between five and seven pages long. So if you're getting something that is half a page or one page, it's a news summary. It's just a new discovery. It might be something great and interesting, but it's not what I'm looking for for this project. If you're doing an astronomy one, you do not want an observing article that tells you about these interesting clusters or interesting galaxies that you can observe with a small telescope. Those are interesting articles, but they're not what I want for this project. What I will give you uh, for the first review is a list of acceptable articles. You are welcome to choose from one of those if you like. If you wish to select your own, then I do recommend that you check with me. Send me an email with the link in advance and I'll be happy to look, look at that. The problem I find with most students is when you select an online article, most of the time you're finding a, new, a news article. It's much too short to be able to get into the detail I want for here. I then ask you to write a two to three page summary and analysis that includes the following items. Now I don't grade this as requiring two to three pages. If you can fully answer everything in less than that, uh, that's good. But generally what I found is that ones that are less than two full double space pages simply are not answering the fully answering the questions that I give and the, what I ask you to go over for the assignment. So if you write one and a half pages worth, you're generally skimping on parts of the review that I am looking for. So if it's not at least two full pages, you, you may want to go back and look and make sure you, you expand on some of the sections. So what am I looking for when I grade these? Well, I have six points here that I'm going to be giving you. First is your source. What was the article? If it's one of the articles I provided, you can simply provide the title and the author and just say it was one of the articles provided for by the professor. That's perfectly fine. If you're doing another one, you can give me a reference for it or a link to the to it. The key is I have to be able to access the article to see it if it's not one that I am familiar with. So I need to be able to know that. The next thing I need is a reason. Why did you pick this article? Did something interest you about the subject? Did something catch your attention? Discuss why you picked here and I'm looking for a paragraph worth. So a sentence or two is not going to be sufficient here. Give me some good details. Maybe it relates to something from your life that really stuck with you that you really wanted to look at for this. And that's great. Um, so I'm looking for that and I'm looking for a little bit of discussion there. And that is worth eight points. Your source is worth seven points. Uh, then come the three big sections. This is the this is the heart of the review. First is to summarize it. And I really I'm just looking for one maybe one to two paragraphs that summarize the main point points of the article. I don't need three pages that go through the article in detail. Hit the high points and tell me what the article was about. So that's the part people usually do and then where you tend to skimp is when it becomes the, the, the analysis. What did you think of the article? So this should be again I say one maybe one to two paragraphs that tells me your ideas about the article. 
Did you like the way they explain things? Did you not like the way they explain things? Either one is fine, but tell me why. Give me some specific examples. Uh, I'm not looking for you to analyze the science of the article. I'm not telling, asking you to tell me whether the science is good or bad, but I'm asking you to tell me how did they present. So how did the authors present that to you? And did it help you to understand it? Were they at much too high a level, much too low of a level? And again, give me some very specific examples. Say that in this part they explained this and I didn't understand it and talk to me about why. What did you not understand about it? For example, what did you understand? How come you liked the way they explained something? So go into some good detail here. Um, then I want you to come up with three questions. So what, ca what come to your mind? They could be things you didn't understand, something you would have liked the author to have talked about a little bit more. And then take a sentence or two to discuss each question and why these are important. So overall, this is the heart of your article. If this is not the major point, then you're missing something. And please note, they're each worth 10 points. So you don't want to give me a really long summary and then just a few sentences for the analysis. These are equally weighted. If you're underdoing this, you're going to get you're going to get, it's going to hurt your grade because you're not sufficiently analyzing the article. If you're not coming up with the questions and discussing them, that will hurt you as well. Then for formatting a little bit, the last section and points are we look at uh, down here you will see we have that I require to be written in paragraph format. All I mean with that is that I don't want you numbering it. Number one, my reference. Number two, I picked this article because don't number them, don't letter them, don't bullet them. Just write them into paragraphs so it's a nice smooth reading article. I should not be jumping and jumping back and forth like you would with, for example, writing up a homework assignment. So nothing should be numbered or bulleted entirely in paragraph form. And then finally, I ask you to give me some type of header for each section. So for as an example, that might be reason. And you can leave that to one side and then your reason, you write your reason in here. And then you'd go on to the summary. And then below that, you'd write in whatever you write for summary and analysis. And so on. All that helps me is to follow your review and make it quicker for me to grade because I can see each section that you're looking at and how I and, and what you intend for to be your summary, what you intend to be your analysis, what you intend to be your questions. And while that may be clear to you, sometimes when I'm reading them, they seem to blur together and I'm having to try to divide where your analysis stops and your questions begin. So this way I'm asking you to make sure you do that. So make sure you give me those. That is a 10% reduction in credit if that does not if that is not part of the review. So that would be five points off off the top uh, in addition to any other points that you would lose if there are not headers for each section. Then in terms of grading, I do use a rubric for grading this. So I will show you that here. It's actually will be provided on the uh, website as well. So what we look at is, so I give several different sections here and I look at your choice of the article. Was it fully acceptable? Was it partially acceptable? I didn't get references. It's an observing article. It's a news article. You will lose points based on that. How well did you discuss the reason? Did really well, eight points. Maybe some discussion, six points, not much. Uh, you're only gonna get three points for that. How well did you summarize the article? So can I understand what the article was about? Even if I haven't read the article itself, that would be 10 points, then seven and four, depending on how much summary you give. Analysis and questions are very similar. So analysis and summary are graded pretty much the same. How much did you give me? And how much detail did you go into? Did you give supporting details and examples? Uh, for the questions, again, did you give three, three questions and discuss them? That's great. If you didn't give less than three discussion, if the three questions, how well did you give me some examples or did you give me less than three questions or did you not give me any 
uh, discussion of them. You just listed three questions and didn't talk about them at all. And then finally, I look at the writing format. That's worth a couple of points. Did you bullet anything? Did you number anything? I don't want to see that. If it was not in paragraph form at all, if you just have one big paragraph, that would not be acceptable. I'm looking for multiple sections for each of these. So that concludes this video explaining the article review assignment for the article reviews that you will be doing in this class. And there will be other videos explaining other projects and assignments for this class. So until next time, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.